Well, hello and welcome back. Some of you have been asking, some of you have been silently wondering where I have been for the last two years and this video is just that life update that I'm gonna share with you. But before I do so, I first want to thank you, yes you, the subscriber of this channel, for being here and uh, supporting me all throughout. Uh, when I paused my content about uh, last, uh, you know, in 2020 and when I started uh, thinking about resuming uh, the same and uh, creating more content, I already saw that I have uh, 10,000 subscribers on School of DevOps channel. And that wouldn't have been possible without your support. So thank you for being here. And as a token of um, gratitude, I'm going to share um, something at towards the end of this course, a couple of news which might be uh, of interest to you and something that you might find very useful. So let's begin with my life updates. So what has been keeping me busy for the last two years? So there were two main things. One is uh, my kids and second is some environmental changes with my new house and shifting and stuff like that. Now, uh, a lot of you might already know that I've had kids, um, twin boys um, at that. And uh, that was in December of 2019. And uh, then uh, March 2020, when I moved to my, uh, I had visited my hometown and then the COVID hit and, uh, you know, it all to start, life just changed, right? At that time, uh, I wanted to, of course, spend more time with my kids. And that's something I've been wanting to do, meaning to do. And COVID just gave me that opportunity. So with uh, COVID coming in and uh, not a lot of uh, help around and so on, um, we, uh, me, my wife and my family, all of us had to spend a lot of time um, uh, with the kids and I got an opportunity uh, in a way, I would say, um, fortunately, in a way, uh, to spend time with them. Otherwise, I would have been traveling a lot and uh, hardly uh, spending time with them with my regular training schedules and stuff like that. So, uh, I, you know, um, sometime in August and September of 2020, I moved from, from my parents' uh, town or hometown to Bangalore and um, it took time for me to settle uh, with finding the house help and uh, settling with the kids and it was a new life for us uh, you know and uh, I, I enjoyed um, spending time with the kids of course so that took me away and that continued um, uh, you know um, until I think about last month um, I was mostly focused on the personal and the family front apart from uh, you know uh, the trainings that I was doing consistently uh, the corporate training part apart from that you know that's what I was doing um, consciously in a way as well and uh, so yeah so the one uh, big life change has been the kids around and uh, I, I spend uh, enjoy spend spending time with them and uh, I would want to continue doing so but now I have also shifted a focus slightly towards my professional life and uh, creating more content and getting um, reaching out to you uh, more often as well so I'm trying to put in some discipline to make uh, both happen and balance uh, with, with the two things the second thing which was very distracting was the environmental changes so sometime back um, in um, you know uh, last year uh, we bought a new apartment and we decided to shift our home and make it a new uh, make it a new home out there right now uh, while it was very exciting and a personally great news for us to move away from the rental place to uh, into our own place um, it took a lot of efforts and uh, it took a lot of time to get the place done the right way the, the way we wanted it and it was a hectic process it was a time consuming process and the biggest uh, you know change for me when i moved uh, finally to the new house in october of 2020, 2021 was uh, the environmental change because earlier um, i was living in a two story rented uh, place but uh, it was very accessible work wise my office was on the second floor and i was living on the first floor so uh, i used to find these pockets of time and get into the zone and uh, get to the work and that was no more possible because my uh, office was away uh, and uh, commuting back and forth multiple times a day uh, wasn't working out so well it's still not uh, and I'm trying to adjust to there and you know uh, now it's um, I found a um, you know a new place a co-working place near my home as well and I go there often when I want to uh, get more work done um, you know during the evenings and stuff like that so environmental changes 
cannot be underestimated to be honest and that's been one major distraction uh, for me a little bit so uh, that's what has been keeping me away from uh, the YouTube stuff and uh, all the content that I want to create and publish uh, uh, for for the community right so that's uh, the two things so what have I been really up to from the professional side is um, over the last two years uh, I was focused on um, my corporate trainings and most of those have uh, moved online. Uh, a lot of interesting new topics, CICD wise, I've made some a uh, lot of modifications. Container courses are going great, uh, especially with Kubernetes and stuff. So that's something I've still been focused on. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I got a big break, um, you know, and uh, I had uh, got a, uh, I got a contract to publish uh, three more courses for Linux Foundation. Some of you might already know that I have uh, uh, I had published two courses with Linux Foundation, uh, one uh, on uh, edX as well, uh, EDX, and um, that was a big opportunity for me. And that continued uh, uh, with the new three courses. And the three courses that I worked on are really hard, and those are really really amazing courses. Uh, quality uh, is, uh, in my opinion, uh, one on DevSecOps, one on GitOps, and uh, one uh, a redo of a container course that Linux Foundation already had. That's where I talk about uh, Docker, Kubernetes, a lot of interesting technologies in the container space uh, in addition to that as well. So DevSecOps, GitOps, containers, you know, uh, I really enjoyed creating those courses. Uh, so that's what was going on apart from uh, raising kids and uh, environmental changes. I uh, was working on creating, authoring those courses and uh, that's what I've been up to really so for the last uh, two years now what is the plan for school of devops and uh, professionally what i really want to do uh, let me talk about that because i always have been wanting to do this and uh, i have done multiple iteration towards it so what i've been trying to do is the bridge uh, you know clearly bridge the gap between um, you know uh, um, the organizations wanting to hire good devops people and not getting those uh, and uh, on the other side, you know, uh, we have a lot of talent of IT professionals who want to get there and get those opportunities, but they can't because of lack of uh, knowledge, lack of skills or lack of experience, right? So how do you bridge that gap has always been something that I've been trying to do. And um, I have done multiple iterations of it. And finally, I've come up with a new iteration again, uh, this time as well. So uh, I spent this time, a lot of time just thinking about uh, and uh, what I want to do, what is my mission, my vision for the world and putting it into the words. And what I just mentioned is uh, the vision that I have uh, where I want to create uh, um, a world where we have highly skilled and ethical uh, DevOps professional who solve this problem of uh, building reliable sites and uh, you know going to the market faster and helping organizations too though so like organizations benefit the world benefits and the DevOps professionals benefit so we want to create this win-win situation and that's my vision for the world uh, I finally got a chance to put put it into uh, the words and then uh, that drives my mission uh, to help about a million uh, IT professionals and impact their uh, careers in a positive way by helping them master DevOps uh, skills. Uh, so that's the mission I uh, am on. And uh, to achieve that mission, you know, is where uh, the approach comes in, where I would be uh, publishing a lot more content on YouTube. I would be building uh, programs like structured programs and this time I'm doing it in a very focused way uh, and adding a lot of clarity to it because so far I've been just selling courses, uh, creating courses, publishing those courses and selling courses. I uh, don't think that's the best approach. Uh, this time the approach is going to be around building communities, communities of uh, DevOps professionals who are helping each other. There would be community based approach there would be accountability based approach there would be a project based approach which i have not done before so all of these are new things that i'm trying to implement uh, through the message that i'm uh, bringing in uh, through the new programs that i'm bringing creating and a lot of things that i already have are being restructured and getting there uh, as a structured uh, long term kind of a commitment based program and so on so that's something i'm working on you will get to know um, if you are on uh, the school of devops channel you'll definitely get get to know uh, about the updates as well as i'll be talking about a new uh, set of uh, topics um, um, uh, as my you know um, regular uh, content that I generate and publish on uh, School of DevOps channel as well. So definitely comment um, 
put it in the comments what would you like to hear from me what kind of topics what kind of content would you like to see on this channel and that would definitely help me understand uh, what are your expectations and maybe uh, start creating content which is more relevant to the audience um, here right so that's my um, you know that's my vision that's my mission that's the next set of uh, activities that I would like to do apart from my corporate training so corporate trainings are going great so that I that continues at least for some time but I would want to be at some point of time where uh, I want to focus more on building the community of uh, DevOps professionals um, you know through this project based uh, comprehensive approach and uh, that is highly satisfying for me because um, I have uh, seen that I really uh, love uh, to see and hear from people uh, that I've really impacted in their careers and that is what makes me going uh, makes me go that is what makes me do um, what I'm trying to do here and that has uh, been my life work so beyond uh, just the corporate training batches which is my bread and butter right now uh, I really want to go out there and build the community of uh, you know DevOps professionals who are helping the world and in turn benefiting um, you know uh, themselves and making great career out of it as well so uh, let's um, you know build it build that world together is uh, what I would say and uh, do comment um, do let me know what you think about uh, um, everything that I've shared uh, do let me know what con kind of content would you like to see here and finally uh, I have two announcements for you one is I'm uh, I have published the same edX course that I was published on uh, via Linux foundation on edX the same course I'm making it available through the school of Devs platform and anybody can sign up to free uh, to that free that's my first token of gratitude for you and uh, there's some interesting topics out there uh, about uh, key skills required to become a DevOps expert including infrastructure as a code, cloud computing, um, CI CD, containers and uh, I have a new topic on um, let's observability and then a new topic on uh, SRE so that's something a lot of you might be interested in as well so definitely grab a uh, access to that uh, course. Uh, SRE wise um, I um, have added a content about uh, what is SLI, what is SLA, SLO, uh, what is the error budget, how do you approach SRE, how do you get started implementing SRE etc uh, in your organization. So th those topics might be interesting for all of you as well. So that's my first announcement. Grab the free uh, uh, you know access to that course um, the edX course is the same one which is available on School of DevOps platform as well you can always go and uh, sign up to that course using edX as well uh, the second announcement is all the courses that I have published in the recent past for Linux Foundation there are four courses uh, one on the CI CD second is on the GitOps third is on DevSecOps and fourth is on the containers and all of these are intensive uh, comprehensive project based learning programs and I've spent like you know um, like three months on almost like uh, each of the course I've spent like three months so this is like my one entire year worth of effort is what I could say and um, I'm making those courses available to my previous paid uh, members so anybody who has uh, had level three uh, at, at one point of time I used to call it as a ninja pass that's gonna change now but anyone who has bought that package uh, as a subscription model one is I'm making all those courses available perpetually um, no time-based limit access like it was a one-year access now I'm gonna make it available to you uh, you don't have to do anything else you will be getting the access to that uh, perpetually plus I plan to you know add these uh, premium courses that I have uh, authored for Linux Foundation and published uh, which I can offer as my direct offerings as well and that's something I want to bring it to you as well and help you benefit out of that too so that's those are two great and you know announcement from my side I hope that helps you you know get to the next level in your DevOps journey as well and with that I'm gonna um, you know wrap up this particular video uh, and my life update and uh, thank you for being here thank you for being a subscriber of this channel and I hope to see you soon uh, again at a very regular interval from now on so thank you very much and uh, let's get started building this DevOps community